MacBook owners know the problem. The display of the notebook from Apple is simply too small for some work such as video editing or photo editing. You need something second, something bigger to be able to work reasonably and efficiently. In this quick tip we'll tell you step by step how to hook up an extra monitor to your MacBook, properly arrange it and pin down your main monitor. Step 1. Connect the monitor to the MacBook. This happens only via HDMI connection for image and sound transmission. Simply plug the HDMI cable into the monitor and notebook at the corresponding interface and you're done. The MacBook automatically detects that an external monitor is connected. By default, the current image you see on the MacBook should be duplicated on the monitor after connecting. Step 2. Arrange the monitor and set the main monitor. Now to the essential and most important step. Normally one does not want to have the picture of the display of the MacBook duplicated on the monitor, but to use the external monitor as an extension to the display of the MacBook. To do this, click on the Apple icon in the top left corner of the menu bar and on System Preferences and Monitors. It now opens two windows. One is used for setting the resolution, scaling and brightness. Should normally fit as far as possible. Under the Colors tab, the monitor can be calibrated, which is always an advantage before the first use in order to obtain the optimum color and contrast result. The calibration is very simple and is well explained by Apple step by step. The window on the main screen, by default the display of the MacBook, is now the most interesting. Here under the tab Arrange, the screens can be arranged. By simply clicking with the left mouse button on one of the two blue rectangles, the selected output device is highlighted in red. For example, left rectangle external monitor and right rectangle the display of the MacBook. For example, if the external monitor is in the office above the MacBook, simply move the rectangle to the correct position. Now both output devices are arranged correctly and can be used further. Make sure that the synchronized screen's check mark is removed, otherwise the image will be duplicated from the display of the MacBook to the external monitor. Of course, this process can be carried out and arranged simultaneously with several monitors. Programs and apps open on the wrong monitor. How do I fix the main monitor? There is nothing more annoying than having a program or app open on the wrong monitor and opening the window to the correct position each time. This can be prevented by clicking on the white thin bar above a blue rectangle under the Arrange tab and move it to the correct output device with the mouse button held down. So now the MacBook knows which monitor should be the main monitor. Now the programs and apps are displayed first on the selected monitor. My dock is on the wrong monitor. What can I do against it? The dock cannot simply be moved as desired. It can only be hidden or the position changed, bottom, left or right. You can only order the output devices side by side, not one above the other. Under System Settings, Monitors, Arrange. After selecting the main monitor, as described, the dock will be displayed on it. Works as mentioned only when the monitors are arranged side by side. Are you also in the own of an external monitor? Write in the comments and we'll talk about it. Thanks for watching.